mind has a mind of its own and it won't leave well enough alone. And my brain can't control itself, so I need you to help me and be patient. Don't go. I have a severe form of bipolar. It's bipolar type one. I lived in a household where mental health and mental illness wasn't a topic that any of us really knew much about. I grew up in a nice um, neighborhood in Southern California, really sunny, it, great parents. My mom my dad were always around. So um, in my situation, it wasn't a matter of any sort of extreme neglect. And I think what happened is when I started to experience some severe stress in my late teens, I went into a really bad depression. I just felt sad, and I didn't know why I felt sad. I was about 20 years old at this point. I just started to withdraw. And eventually what started to happen is I lost a lot of weight. Two, three years later, still going through this depression, I became completely unconscious of the days. And meanwhile, my head was racing with all these different types of thoughts. Eventually, my friends started to notice I would talk out of my head. Nobody really took it seriously, and then I stopped getting my sleep, started staying up around the clock, um, started having a lot of energy, started thinking I had a special mission in life to save people. I also thought that life around me was this movie set. I started to really believe these things. I was 24 years old, got into a cab, and um, cab driver, after a while, could tell that I was psychotic. and. Um, call the police and at the time I was talking to myself on the street talking about all these divine thoughts and I was completely psychotic out of my mind and law enforcement thought that I was on drugs I had never done a drug and I was sent to UCLA and I was put into the psychiatric unit at UCLA and that's when I was diagnosed if I can say one thing unless there's extreme I just don't feel me no I don't think you heard me I just don't feel me Bipolar type 1, you have the same thing as type 2 where you have the severe depressions. What designates bipolar type 1 from bipolar type 2 is psychotic features and the clearly manic state. No one, nobody can live every single day in that state. No way. No way. You have to figure out a way to get help. I'm very grateful to have found the right combination of treatments and doctors and medicines. And I, um, on a type of medication they call a mood stabilizer, so individuals that have bipolar disorder, mood stabilizers are really effective. If I didn't have the experience of having this bipolar condition, I wouldn't be writing poetry probably. I became more creative. I, came, I became more creative when I was finally put on the right medicines because I was out able to channel all those extreme emotions that I went through. I feel like there's a zipper on my brain and when I sit down and I write something, I feel like I'm letting the zipper unfold and then just like, boom, like, come all these thoughts. I'm tapping into the mixed episodes when I was in the hospital. When I was first diagnosed, there was nobody talking about this stuff. Now, more people talking about it, there is no help without mental health. And then Harmony reached out at me. And she said, it's okay. Your passion is only overrated. We know where it's coming from. If you don't take those breaths long enough to keep it sated, it's okay to be you. <laughs>